Hello and welcome back to another segment of Living History with Ted Goldsboro. Today our guest is Dr. Patty Krish, who has written a book about a better chance. We abbreviate ABC, the ABC House, which is a program for inner city kids to attend the Lower Marin Schools, Lower Marin High School. So Patty, when we left off, uh, we were showing images of po a poetry reading night uh, with uh, resident advisors and one of the ABC students. And I thought that maybe we should talk about where one can buy the book. Uh, so let's do that. Okay. Um, it's available at Main Point Books, which is in Vermar. It's an um, independent bookstore. I really like to support local businesses. It's also available on Amazon, but I'd really encourage anybody locally to, to uh, patronize this, okay. wonderf this wonderful new store. So Main, Main Point, Point Books, Books. In, on Lancaster Avenue in Bryn Mawr. Mm -hmm. And uh, we prefer that over Amazon or whatever, mm -hmm. but you can get it online. Mm -hmm. You had a book launch program at the Main Point yes, Books yeah. in Bryn Mawr. Could you tell me uh, what these well, images? Well, it was, it was a very with. nice occasion. About fifty people showed up, which was really. Um, and this is an image of beforehand where people are socializing. Um, this is my answering questions. I did a reading and then answered questions. And this one, I was especially I was honored that the woman that actually founded our program in 1973. Jews, it's Reverend Jews uh, back was there, and she got up at po one point and was talking a little bit about the history about how they raised the money and how you know what they had to do to to start this mm -hmm. program. And there was a group of quite prominent uh, uh, residents uh, to get, but she was the the leader apparently, okay. and uh, uh, started. So it started in 1973, mm -hmm. and they bought this ho this house on Ardmore Avenue where the the kids and the staff live. Okay. Mm -hmm. Is ABC a national program? Yes, it was started in 1963 um, by 23 headmasters of private uh, boarding schools and independent schools who were interested in, in having more diverse um, student body. It was during the civil rights era. The mission statement of the national program is, is our mission is to increase the number of well-educated young people of color who are capable of assuming positions of responsibility and leadership in American society. Most of the people who, who are in the program go to either private boarding schools or the largest number go to uh, private independent schools. Um, so th the kind of program that we have, there are 21 of them currently, and um, I was small percentage of the, student, the students, I think there are 150 in total at one, one time on these programs. Uh, locally, um, some of the school, private schools sh ha that have ABC programs are the Shipley School, the Haverford School, Mary and Mercy Academy, uh, Friends Central, and Radnor High School. Um, this is where the student would live at home and then commute out to, the, to that day school. And then, as I said, there's there's kids who are in uh, private boarding school. The national program does not require that that the students all be low income. I mean, some of them are, and they give them scholarships. But it's 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 really a dual um, purpose to get more people of color into these kinds of positions, mm -hmm. and also to to help talented uh, kids from low income. Our program, and I think most of the other what they call community school programs. Have a requirement that they be low income. So, um, mm -hmm. um, nationally, uh, fourteen thousand yeah. since nineteen sixty three. Yeah, okay. yeah, that's a, the national program. Our program has has graduated over ninety since nineteen seventy three, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. and almost all of those go on to college. Of the eight boys in in my book, all eight went to four year colleges. One didn't finish. The other ones finished mostly within um, um, four years. Mm -hmm. yeah. And they got some scholarship help at they, college. Yeah, a lot of yeah. Okay. We, we were we put a lot of resources into college prep and helping with the college process. And one of the things we really concerned about is that they don't not graduating with enormous debts. Mm -hmm. And uh, so you know, 
that's something we, we, we can talk some okay. more about later, but that's, that's really very important to us. Um, in our notes, I see that the ABC House is a tax-exempt 501c3, mm -hmm. so people yeah. making donations mm -hmm. yeah. would get mm -hmm. a tax yeah. mm -hmm. exemption for yes, that. Um, we mentioned you mentioned that uh, the house was bought back in 1973, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and we have some images okay, yeah. about the house. Okay, this is the front of the house. The house was originally a rooming house, so it's it's not elegant inside, but it's spacious and and. Um, the boys share a two-door bedroom, and they live, there's one bedroom on the first floor, and then the rest of the boys live on the second floor, and then the, some of the staff live on the third floor. About 12, 15 years ago, we, we built an addition onto the back of the house for staff to live, and it's usually, if we have a couple, um, um, they live there. Till recently, there was a couple that was there, the man was there for Ten years, first as a tutor and then a um, resident director, and he and his wife had a baby while they were there. So was, uh, uh, Grace is now four, and they just they just finished. Um, it was Paul Elcox and J.C. Erickson. So um, this this picture has the uh, the the addition on okay. back, and then there's the um, there's living room, dining room. Uh, uh, a study hall and um, on the first floor, and kitchen. And we have a part-time cook that um, prepares meals. We ha we have the ki there's a mandatory dinner at six as a family group, um, five nights Monday through Friday. The weekends the kids have different schedules, and um, so they have the the cook prepares dinner for mm -hmm. for that. And and one of the these the resident director's responsibilities is to try and create a, a family atmosphere. Okay. For the program. A surprise how much land there is behind the house is quite deep back yeah. there, isn't well, it? And this is an important part of it. There's a the basketball, basketball hoop. Mm -hmm. it's, basketball is very popular, and that's a favorite thing to do, shooting baskets. Um, um, you know, after school, you know, between dinner and study hall. Uh, we have a required study hall um, from 7 to 9.30, five, 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 five nights, nights a week, week. Yeah, okay. Sunday through Thursday. Okay. Yeah. And it's, it, we also, the, the building is right across the street from the Ardmore Community Center, and that has basketball courts and other facilities, and that's very popular with the, with the kids. If one wanted to make a donation <laughs> to the ABC Laura Marion, uh, we have on the screen where they could mail their donation mm -hmm. to do that. Okay. We have uh, photographs of the art Well, I might say that we, we, we're entirely dependent on, well, we have some grants, but um, we're basically dependent on the community mm -hmm. for donations. And th it costs about 130000 a year to run this program, mm -hmm. so we've... Um, thank you yeah, for mentioning it. It was mm -hmm. very important. <laughs> thank you. Uh, I'm putting a, a picture of the Arbor Community mm -hmm. Center because that is across the street, mm -hmm. and uh, it has a swimming pool. I don't know if the boys ever swim there. Well, I, I think the pool's open during the, mostly during the summer, and they're yes, not here. They not go here. home. They go yes. home in the summer. Okay. This picture is, I like is because this was from the 30th anniversary uh, celebration 12 years ago, and it's it's the kids, some alumni, some board members shooting baskets together. Mm -hmm. um, and I think it typifies how much interaction, it, you know, staff, kids, um, board members have. Mm -hmm. And it, we really, it's really, we think about it as the ABC family that mm -hmm. supports, mm -hmm. supports uh, the kids. They have an academic advisor, they have a host parent, and there's board members that are very much involved in the program. And Plus, very important, the, the staff. We have about two minutes left before mm -hmm. I have to take a break, yeah. but I would like you to tell about, um, let me see, going ahead here, uh, how the children are chosen, the academic potential and the mm -hmm. distance from their home. Well, we require, yeah, most of the boys come from New York. We have some from Baltimore, Washington, D.C., Connecticut. Um, we like to have them require that they be some distance, about 100 miles. We don't want them going back to the same neighborhood if, 
you know, every weekend, for example, and want them to be part of this community. So that's, and the kids apply to the national program, and then we get the applications from them. It's a complicated process. They have standardized tests, teacher recommendations, and so forth and so mm -hmm. on. And, um, and then we invite them down to um, interview them, and, and, uh, and they're selective for academic potential, and mm -hmm. we don't want to take kids who we don't think can make it in the Lower mm -hmm. Marion um, mm -hmm. system, so. Okay. Uh, I think we better wrap up this okay. uh, segment, but okay. we will have another segment. Mm -hmm. And uh, this is uh, Ted Goldsboro with Living History. We're speaking with Dr. Patricia Chris today about a program called A Better Chance, the ABC House in Lower Marion.